Hey guys, welcome to the Gain at Home Summer Edition. So today we are doing an eight minute ascending ladder. So you're going up the handstand push ups, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, climbing as high as you possibly can. And you're coupling that with a burpee box jump or step up. For those, you're going to go up in fours. So you would do two handstand push ups, four burpee box jumps, and then your four handstand push ups, eight burpee box jumps, and you climb up in that ladder and get as high as you can in eight minutes. Once we've done that, we're going to move on to the four rounds for time. So there's a 12 minute time cap on this. 21 swings, 15 goblet squats, and then the nine push-ups. And then finally, 16 minute EMOM, under switch to crab, at meaning kettlebell halo, kettlebell windmills, and then some plank pass throughs. So starting off with your warm up today, guys, we're gonna do some skipping variations, plank shoulder taps, lunging overhead reach, and a bird dog, all in that eight minute EMOM format. So the skipping variations, if you've got a rope, great. If not, we can go for the penguin taps. You could maybe jump from side to side. You could work on some high knees. Just get yourself moving, get cast warm. And you're gonna be moving on to the plank shoulder tap. So coming down on the ground, shifting your weight across, just tap, same hand, same shoulder. The third movement is that lunging overhead reach. So you're gonna lunge down, gently pause, reach it up, and then switch. And just take a moment in the bottom of that position just to really open up your hips. And then finally, moving on to those bird dogs, so back down to the ground. So on the hands and knees, and you're just going to lift opposite arm, opposite leg. You reach up and switch. Cool, so really working on that stabilization. Then we're going to move on to the eight minute ascending ladder. So the handstand push ups, if you haven't got those just yet, we can look at an inverted push up. So leaving the hips nice and high, head comes down between the hands, and then we push back up and through. Well, we can also do that on the knees if we need to, in the same way. Cool. And those reps are going up in twos. So if you've got a box to jump onto for the burpee box jumps, fantastic. If not, we can look at a burpee lunge, the hips and chest down to the ground, and then we lunge on both legs before we hit the next rep. Cool. So that's your ascending ladder, then we're moving on to the four rounds for time. So first movement, 21 swings. So keeping that chest upright in the back nice and straight. Use the hips to drive forward. So you can see just underneath it for your Russian or all the way overhead for the American. And we move on to the goblet squat. So weight comes to the chest, hips come back and down. And you stand tall at the top. And then finally moving on to your push-ups. Coming down to the ground. Chest down to the deck. Back. Cool. Again, we can drop down to the knees if we need to. And that's your four rounds to the time. As I say, 12 minutes time cap on that one. And then finally, guys, the 16 minute EMOM. So under switch to crab. Um, you come back down to your crab position. And then we're going to flip it over into your tabletop. Cool. And you just switch between the two. Just a mirror image of each other a bit as you turn over. Then you're moving into that kneeling kettlebell halo. So down in your kneeling position, keeping the elbows bent and the weight close to your head. You're going to spin it round and then come back and through. Cool. Then we're going on to the kettlebell windmill. So a lot of this is working on that shoulder stability, taking a nice wide stance. Weight comes up and overhead, keeping the shoulder locked. And I'm gonna lean down, touch my toes, and come back up. Cool. For those of you guys who might have tight hamstrings and it's quite difficult to get down to the toes, the wider the stance, the more stable you'll be. Um, and if you need to, you can always put a slight bend in the knees if it's too tight or go down to about mid calf rather than all the way down to the floor. And then that last movement, so your plank pass through, Coming down into your plank position, we pull across the body with the weight and side to side. Once you finish that, guys, you're going to complete that for the four rounds, and that's your EMOM finished. Any questions, guys, let us know. Have a great day.